stable as InDesign is, careful as InDesign is to make automatic backups of your documents as you work, it can sometimes corrupt a document. Or maybe a document got corrupted transferring across a network. It happens. Sometimes you get InDesign documents that simply don't work right. They don't open completely. They don't have text in them when they should. They have Russian Cyrillic text when it was supposed to be English. All sorts of weird things can happen with corrupt InDesign documents. The most common way to fix them, the way that fixes, I would estimate about 90% of the problems with corrupt InDesign documents is to simply resave it in a way that rewrites the entire document file format and all of the bits and bytes that make up that file. The way you do that is, and I don't have a corrupt file, thankfully, to show you, I just have this document. As long as the document opens in InDesign, even if it's all messed up, you have a chance at saving that file. With it open in InDesign, go to File, Save As, or Save a Copy. I'm going to choose Save As. Stick it on the desktop, and then under Format, change it to IDML. This creates a more XML-compliant version of the file, and that means it forces InDesign to rewrite every piece of information in that file in a whole different order than it would be in an INDD document. And it throws away any extraneous bits from previous versions. And that's a major causing factor for corrupt InDesign documents. You may have a document that you've worked on over the years. I've had documents where I started them in InDesign 1.0, and then I updated them in every version of InDesign through the years. I've reused them again. Eventually, all the little changes you make, all the conversions from an older version of InDesign to the latest version can get stuck in the file. They can get bound up. And these little extraneous, obsolete pieces of code or strings of code can get stuck in there and cause the corruption. Well, saving an InDesign document to an IDML, or if it's already an IDML, saving it to an INDD, forces all of that stuff that's not being used in the actual document to be thrown away. And everything that is still used to, to be rewritten all over again in a completely different order. This can fix, again, about 90% of the corrupt documents out there. I've seen it work. I've made it work. I've trained technical support to make it work. Try it. If you call Adobe Technical Support, they're going to have you do this as the first thing anyway, as long as the InDesign document opens. So go ahead and try this before sitting on hold.